Jill and I have served in the college relations department at Ozark for three years together, and she has been a constant source of encouragement and wisdom. After working here at Ozark for 19 years in the music department as the founder and director of the Impact Brass and Singers, I made a switch in my jobs here. That's when I met Jill English, who had been a former student here, and hired her to be my assistant. We worked together in many, many different areas here, alumni, publications, and uh, media, and recruitment, conventions, for 27 years. As a student, I first encountered Jill English probably at the ice cream social uh, that we used to have. Uh, it was really at that moment that I said goodbye to my family from Colorado and said hello to my Ozark family. But over the five years here, uh, she served really in a number of different uh, ways that impacted my family. My wife had her as her mentoring group leader and really met a number of good friends and enjoyed times at her home and, and over food and activities together. Uh, I had the opportunity to serve in various events with Jill English as a student. As an alum, uh, Jill was a familiar face at uh, various events and even here on campus, always engaged with our story and keeping us up to date with the stories of other people. And then six years ago, I had the opportunity to come back and work with Jill English, again, realizing the impact she has made not only on the Ozark family, but on my personal family. And my kids always know where to find candy anytime they come to campus. Jill is a very gracious lady. I know that because she put up with me all those years. She's very kind. We had to deal with many situations with many people, and she treated them with respect. And she was very dependable. She and I were a sort of a two-person team, running the conventions and the media and the Compass magazine, and we worked many long hours together, and I could always depend on her help. Three words I would use to describe Jill English are dedicated, friendly, and ornery. <laughs> Dedicated because Jill's a hard worker and gives 110% to whatever it is that she's doing, always. Friendly because she constantly has a smile on her face or an encouraging word to say to you. And ornery because Jill would not be Jill without trying to pull some sort of practical joke on someone. Um, whether you be in the office with her or on a trip somewhere, she's always got a good joke up her sleeve. If I were to put three words uh, that would describe Jill English, I would put forward the first word would be servant. Uh, Jill has, for 32 years, shined the spotlight on other people while she herself stood just outside that spotlight. Whether that be speakers out of, of events or leaders here on campus, so many activities and uh, alumni gatherings took place with Jill behind the camera or behind the table serving. Uh, so I'm grateful for that. Second word I'd use uh, would be the word friend. Uh, Jill has grown to be a dear friend, uh, not only of myself, um, but of, of many people around the world as she has engaged in their story. And the third word that I'd use for Jill would be ambassador. I think in many ways, she, like so many others, embody that, that ideal of being an ambassador for Jesus. Ozark is gonna miss Jill because of her great smile and her kindness and dealing with people, but they're gonna miss especially her vast knowledge of the alumni and the students that have attended here, the different families and the generations that have come and gone. And that is a big asset that she's had for years and Ozark will certainly miss that from her. Thank you, Jill, for your time and your service here. We will miss your brain and your goodies and your laughter around the office daily. And Jill, I'd just like to say thank you. You have made an impact on so many. Well done, friends, well done. If I could compare Jill English to one Bible character, it would be Barnabas because she has been an unfailing encourager. Over 30 years ago when I was a freshman here at Ozark, I got a job in the admissions office and Jill English was my very first boss. I was 19 years old, young, immature, and annoying. You know that guy who always tries too hard to be too funny? That was me. Even 49-year-old Matt, thinking back about 19-year-old Matt, I'm annoying myself right now. But Jill English was always gracious to me, always kind, and in the 30 years since, she has prayed for me, encouraged me, she has encouraged my kids. Uh, there are a lot of Proctor kids, and yet she knows every single one of them by name. And my children have received dozens of gift bags from her over the years. But mostly, she's been an encouragement to our alumni. 
She's worked in our alumni ministry and we have over 15,000 alumni. And the crazy thing is Jill knows most of them by name. She has known so many people for so long that over the years, whenever I needed to know who somebody was, I would just walk down the hall and ask Jill. She was Facebook before there was Facebook. And she has relentlessly scoured church newsletters. She has scoured Facebook for news and updates so that anytime a baby is born or a parent dies, when a job change happens, a new building is built or a book is published, when a diagnosis comes back and it's cancer, Jill is the one who sends just the right word to that alumni at just the right time. And there are people who are feeling grieved and tired, who all of a sudden feel this fresh wind in their sails because somebody knew and somebody cared. And I know that all around the world, there have been many a Paul, many a John Mark, who were able to keep on ministering because a Barnabas named Jill English stood at their side. Now, Miss Jill, there's an old African proverb that says, when an old man dies, a library burns to the ground. Now, Miss Jill, I'm very glad that you're not dying, but as you retire from Ozark, I do feel like a library's worth of knowledge is being lost. You will be missed. You have been such an essential part of our history here in training men and women for Christian service. You have served with excellence, with character, and with compassion. And I wanna say, well done, good and faithful servant. And on behalf of the entire Ozark Christian College family, I want you to hear me say thank you.